everybody! Today I'm going to be drawing Markiplier in that image that I just showed you. So I start off by doing my line art, which I'm like half and half okay with. I drew, you can see I drew two eyes in my original sketch to figure out which one I would want to use because I was like, well I don't know if I want to go big and cartoony or if I want to do closer to realistic eyes. Turns out I wanted the closer to realistic ones when I went and did it digitally. But basically, here I am going in and doing the rest of my line art, which took me so long. I like don't know why. It doesn't look like a long amount of time here, but for me, this took so long because I was like, I can't get this one feature right. And it was his nose, and I was like, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna just fix it. See, here it is. I'm fixing it, and I fixed it because it was annoying me so much. And here I am doing like the smaller, finer details in the line art before I believe I go on to color his face. Now in the image I'm doing, there's a red light and that red light you can kind of see. So I was like, okay, you can see the red light. I kind of want to incorporate that. So I did a very, very dull color for the base of his skin tone. So I could add in all these like nice, richer tones while I did my shading, my lighting, you know, all that fun stuff. It took me probably the longest amount of time in this piece. But, you know, the end result to me is really worth it. I I think I'm getting more used to sculpting out the nose and everything too digitally with colors. Because before, let's be honest, I really didn't know what I was doing. And I still really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just going for it at this point. But, hey, you can see that I'm doing something here. And the fact that I'm doing something <laughs> is just amazing that like it makes it look like an actual nose because I'm not good at that and I don't think I will ever be good at that <laughs> if I'm being frank with everyone. Here I am adding like some darker tones. I didn't really like them. They seemed a bit muddy but in the final piece overall I really liked it because it kind of helped with the contrast of the hair and my background that I eventually do, which I am not totally 100% okay with this background. You will probably honestly see me post this on my Instagram, which is Russell Draws, by the way. I'm just gonna do like a little self insert of that. <laughs> and you'll probably see me post that there, but you'll see it cropped out, like just to show him because I don't like the background. I don't know why I don't like the background. I just, it, I don't, I don't know, I just, it doesn't appeal to me. Me and that background do not like each other, and I don't know why. I did originally do a very light gray for his sweater, but overall, all the colors together made it really, really dark because I had too many dark shadows, but you know, I really wanted to show that there was like a contrast between the lighting and the shading here, which I think was incorporated pretty well in my final piece. If I don't say so myself, that is, like, I think it looks nice. Not too sure about other people, but... Here's me doing that final background that I really am not, I'm going to go in and fix it. That's me saying this. I'm going to go in and fix it. I'm going to post the fixed piece on Instagram, <laughs> which is probably just going to be me coughing it a bunch. But here is the final end result of my Markiplier drawing. I'm going to tag his channel in the comments, and I hope you guys don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.